don't think could, I could have asked for something better to happen to me than winning the Olympics because I have been pretty on the contest grind for the past couple of years. I mean, that's all I really did with Gus and all the other guys is just for contest, 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 trying to get our names up, trying to build our ranking up and, and kind of earn the respect and get sponsors and kind of work our way into the industry and into the scene. And with winning the Olympics, it was a huge relief coming into this season. I mean, I still had a target on my back, and I still do. And I still want to do well, but I, I don't have to do as many competitions. And it's been a relief this year to kind of be able to sit back and breathe a little more. And uh, I, I still can't believe it. All this stuff has been so wild. For me, number one priority is having fun. I really enjoy that and trying to just get out and hang out with my friends that I grew up with more, not just like my pro skiers, because when I get home, some or my pro skier friends, my friends always give me a hard time because like you only party and hang out with your skier friends, man. You don't want to hang out with us. But I did a lot of fundraisers and I went to a bunch of ski camps this summer. So I kept myself busy with things I wanted to do. I wanted to kind of give back to the kids that were going to these ski camps because I remember when I was a kid going to a ski camp, I wanted to hang out with the top pros at the time. I mean, I wanted them to know my name. But right now I just want to push my limits and see what I can do before it's too late and do as much as I can. Just not being able to do what I want to do is kind of my biggest fear, the, the thought of just being stuck inside. Because I used to get hurt a lot when I was younger, and just sitting inside watching everyone else have fun is really hard. But at the same time, at this point in my life, that's kind of what's keeping me going. I, I don't really want to fall off the grid. Yeah, I don't know. I think injury and health is my biggest fear. And uh, I'm also pretty afraid of the rain. That movie scares me as well. <laughs> I feel like I am really on top of the sport with a group of other, a select group of these other skiers and that it's up to us to really kind of set the path of what's going to happen in the next couple of years. Our sport's progressing so fast. I don't know. For me, I just want to keep doing what I've been doing and I, I want to be the best and I'm sure everyone else wants to be the best and it's not going to hurt me if I'm not, but right now I know that I have a lot of eyes on me so I'm trying to do the best I can to really be the skier I always wanted to be growing up. Yeah, so I'd say after my father passed away last summer, I was almost in survival mode, me and my family, until the Olympics. That was kind of the goal for me, and my mom and my brother was just kind of like, let's just get there, keep going. That's what we've been working for. And uh, so it was really hard for me to really sit back and think about it. And this summer, it hit me pretty hard once I kind of sat back and I was able to take care of more family business and really kind of catch up with paperwork and figuring out I'm trying to learn how to live kind of on my own now and help take care of my mom and my brother. It's been really hard, but I feel like it's made me stronger as a person and it's made my mom really strong. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can just keep trucking on. I don't know, for me, the key to happiness is just definitely just being able to relax and have fun and, and be comfortable with with living. It doesn't matter what it is, but if anxiety, I don't know, a lot of us athletes get really anxious. I have a lot of anxiety problems. I mean, nothing where I need to go to a doctor or anything, but I'll sit in my bed all night freaking out, thinking about what, a, like, the sport or skiing or a contest. And when I'm truly happy is when I'm just having fun with my friends, not worrying about taxes or if I got this, pay, these, like, if I emailed someone back or if I responded to a phone call, kind of a lot of stress. But I think the key to happiness is just being comfortable with your life and relaxing.